In Leviticus 23, God makes some things very clear. First, he wants his people to be hard workers. Second, he wants them to prioritize rest. And third, he wants them to celebrate and worship together. So God gave them the Sabbath for weekly rest and seven yearly festivals for celebration. Now these are split into seasons, four feasts in the spring, then four months of harvest, then three feasts in the fall. But to disciples of Christ, these feasts have a more significant prophetic meaning. Each of the spring feasts are a foreshadowing of Jesus as our Messiah. The Passover shows Jesus as the sacrifice for our sin. The Feast of Unleavened Bread is a portrayal of his burial. While the Feast of First Fruits represents Jesus' resurrection, and the Feast of Weeks is a picture of the birth of the church. Now, even if the symbolism wasn't enough proof that Jesus was the Messiah, Jesus fulfilled these things on the exact feast days, almost 500 years after they were first written here in Leviticus. He was taken and crucified during the Passover. He was buried during the Feast of Unleavened Bread. His resurrection was on the Feast of First Fruits, and the day of Pentecost was during the Feast of Weeks, 50 days after the Passover. Still to come are the prophecies of the Fall Feast, the Feast of Trumpets, which is the rapture of the church, the Day of Atonement, which represents the affliction and ultimately the salvation of Israel, and the Feast of Tabernacles, which is the reign of Jesus as King. But in closing, I want to remind us that you and I were currently standing in the middle of this chapter, during the summer harvest. We've seen Jesus fulfill the spring feast. We're waiting to see the fulfillment of the fall feast. But in the meantime, Jesus gave us clear instructions about our job during the harvest in John 4, verse 35. You know the saying, four months between planting and harvest, but I say, wake up and look around. The fields are already ripe for harvest. The harvesters are paid good wages, and the fruit they harvest is people brought to eternal life. What joy awaits both the planter and the harvester alike?